In the Chapter 6 lecture, we will review index numbers. Index numbers are everywhere. Turn to the financial page of any newspaper and you'll find indices. First, a little grammar lesson. The plural of index is either indices or indexes. This lecture has eight objectives. One, understand why we use index numbers. Two, know how to interpret index numbers. Three, calculate simple unweighted index numbers. Four, use index numbers to calculate the coefficient of variation. Five, use index numbers to calculate the geometric mean. Six, construct a variety of weighted indices. Seven, construct the value index. Eight, identify special purpose indices like the consumer price index, the producer's price index, the Dow Jones Industrial Average, Standard & Poor's 500, among others. Interpreting index numbers and simple index numbers. Index numbers were invented in 1764 by the Italian economist Giovanni Rinaldo, the Count of Carli. He used index numbers to compare the price of grain, wine, and oil for a 250-year period. Indices are widely used. They are seen in business, finance, economics, politics, and other social sciences. Indices are used to compare relative differences among quantitative variables. They are often used when reporting the coefficient of variation. And they are used when calculating the geometric mean whenever data contain negative numbers. Interpreting index numbers. An index of 200 is double the base. An index of 300 is triple the base. An index of 75 is 75% 75 of the base, or 25% below the base. An index of 50 is half of the base. An index of 25 is a quarter of the base, or 75% below the base. The smallest possible index number is zero. An index of zero is 100% below the base. There are no negative index numbers. Let's explore simple index numbers. Simple index numbers compare the relative difference between two numbers. With simple index numbers, one value is considered the base. Here is the formula for simple index numbers. The index number is the selected value over the base value multiplied by 100. The formula for simple index numbers is often shown with symbols. The index number is p, the selected value is p sub t, and the base is p sub o. For our example of simple index numbers, we will use city metric data on the number of stations for the world's 10 largest subway systems. An index of 100 is average. An index of less than or equal to 80 is considered below average. An index of greater than or equal to 115 is considered above average. The average number of subway stations in these 10 systems is 287.9 stations. New York City, with 468 stations, has a large index of 163, which is 63% above the base. London, with 270 stations, has an average index of 94, which is 6% below the base. And Tokyo, with 179 stations, has a small index of 62, which is 38% below the base. Nice, France has no subway. It would index at zero. Let's turn to the coefficient of variation, which can be reported as an index number. The coefficient of variation can also be reported as a decimal or percentage. The coefficient of variation is used to compare dispersion of two or more ratio level variables that are measured on different scales. Here is the formula to calculate the coefficient of variation as an index. 
standard deviation over the mean times 100. The coefficient of variation can be calculated for samples and populations. The only difference with the formulas are the symbols used for the standard deviation and mean. Let's compare the coefficient of variation for the price of a Big Mac and data usage in 20 countries. The coefficient of variation for Big Macs are 34.29. The coefficient of variation for monthly mobile data usage in gigabytes in the same 20 countries is 73.78. The variability of monthly mobile data usage is, therefore, more than twice that of the price of a Big Mac. Let's turn to the use of index numbers in the calculation of the geometric mean. You will recall from Chapter 5 of Clear Sighted Statistics, the geometric mean is the nth root product of n numbers. The geometric mean is used in investment analysis to calculate the average rate of return. The big problem is that the geometric mean can only be calculated with non-negative numbers, which are zeros and positive numbers. When investments lose money, there are negative returns and the geometric mean cannot be calculated. The solution is to convert the returns, interest rates, to indices. An investment that loses half of its value would have an index of 50. An investment that loses all of its value would have an index of 0. Column B shows data formatted as percentages. Using Excel's GeoMean function, returns the numeric value error. Column F uses indices, and there is no error. The geometric mean is 94.33, which shows that this investment had an average loss of 5.67%. Let's turn to unweighted price indices, the simple price index and the aggregate price index. A simple price index compares changes in price for a market basket of items over two periods. The formula for a simple price index is the sum of the individual indices divided by the number of indices times 100. Here is an example of a simple price index. Here are the retail prices for 2009 and 2019 for four chocolate manufacturers with the fifth category for small brands called all others and the formulas are shown in column E. The simple index equals 147, rounded from 146.67, shown in cell D7. This is the mean of the five indices. Let's turn to the simple aggregate price index. The simple aggregate price index is calculated on prices, not indices. This index is calculated from the sum of the base and selected period prices. The formula for the simple aggregate price index is the sum of the values in the selected period over the sum of the values in the base period times 100. Here is the example of the simple aggregate price index for our five categories of chocolate manufacturers. Retail prices for 2019 and 2006 for the five categories are shown in columns B and C. The sum of the prices for 2019 is in cell B7. Cell C7 shows the sum of the prices for 2009. The index is based on the sum of the prices for the selected period 2019 in the numerator and the sum of the base period 2009 in the denominator times 100. The simple aggregate price index is 145.5, rounded off to 146, found by $8 over $5.5 times 100. Let's turn to weighted indices. We will cover four indices. Le Spare Index, Pasha Index, Fisher's Ideal Index, and the Value Index. Why use a weighted index? Using a weighted index is often more appropriate than an unweighted index. With the weighted index, each variable in the index is adjusted to account for its quantity. Two German economists are the big names in weighted indices, 
Etienne Lesper and Herman Pasha. The Lesper's index is a base period quantity index because its weights use the base period's quantities and price. The formula for this index is the sum of the price for the observed periods times the quantities for the base period over the sum of the prices for the base period times the quantities for the base period times 100. Here is a market basket of items for 2009 and 2019. The market basket includes prices and quantities for the base and observed periods. The index is 142, rounded up from 141.52. This means that prices rose approximately 42%. The Pasha index is a current period weighted index because it uses the current or observed period weightings. The formula for the Pasha index is the sum of the price for the observed period times the quantities for the observed period over the sum of the prices for the base period times the quantity for the observed period times 100. Using the same market basket that we use for the Le Pairs index, the Pasha index is 137, rounded down from 137.34. This means that prices for this market basket rose just over 37%. Comparing the two indices, Les Pairs equals 142, and Pasha equals 137. The Les Pairs index tends to overestimate price, while the Pasha index tends to underestimate price. The Les Pairs index is used more often based on cost and ease of calculation. Fisher's ideal index is based on Les Pairs and Pasha indices. American economist Irving Fisher developed the ideal index which blends the Les Pairs and Pasha indices. Fisher's ideal index is the geometric mean of the product of the Les Pairs and Pasha indices. With two periods, Fisher's ideal index is the square root of the product of these indices. Fisher's ideal index for our example of the Les Pairs index of 142 and the Pasha index of 137 is 139. The value index. The Lespre and Pasha indices measure changes in weighted price. The value index weights both price and quantity. The value index V equals the sum of the prices for the selected period multiplied by the quantities for the selected period over the sum of the prices for the base period multiplied by the quantities for the base period times 100. Let's work through an example. Here we have our two market baskets, one from 2009 and the other from 2019. The market baskets contain the prices and quantities purchased for eight items. Step one, multiply the prices and quantities for the selected period, which in this case is 2019. The result is P sub T, Q sub T. Step two, add the eight P sub T, Q sub T variables. The sum of P sub T, Q sub T equals $1,158.90. Step three, multiply the prices and quantities for the base period, which in this case is 2009. The result is P sub O, Q sub O. Step four, add the eight P sub O, Q sub O variables. The sum of P sub O, Q sub O equals $789.32. Step 5. Complete the formula. 1,158.9 over 789.32 times 100 equals 146.82. The value index equals 147. The price of the market basket rose approximately 47%. Now let's turn to special purpose indices published by governments and financial institutions. The Consumer Price Index, or CPI, is published by the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. It measures the average change over time in the price paid by urban consumers for a market basket of consumers' goods and services. Indexes are available for the United States in various geographic areas, Average price data for select utility, automobile fuel, and food items are also widely available. 
Closely related to the Consumer Price Index is the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics Producer Price Index, or PPI. It measures the average change over time in the selling prices received by domestic producers for their output. The prices included in the PPI are from the first commercial transaction for many products and some services. The Dow Jones Industrial Average is published by Standard & Poor's Dow Jones. This financial index was started in 1896. It measures daily stock prices for 30 large companies on the New York Stock Exchange and NASDAQ. The Dow Jones Industrial Average is considered a proxy for the health of financial markets and the American economy. The Standard & Poor's 500 is a barometer of the strength of large capitalization corporations. It includes the top 500 companies based on market capitalization. As you can see from this chart published in the New York Times on December 31, 2022, 2022 was a terrible year for the S&P 500. The S&P 500 covers approximately 80% of available market capitalization. The Russell 2000 is published by FTSE Russell, a subsidiary of the London Stock Exchange. The Russell 2000 is a stock market index composed of 2,000 publicly traded small capitalization American firms. The NASDAQ 100 index is published by the National Association of Security Dealers. NASDAQ is an electronic stock exchange. It includes 100 non-financial companies listed on the New York Stock Exchange based on market capitalization. The Nikkei 225 is the stock market index for the Tokyo Stock Exchange. This price-weighted index measures the performance of 225 publicly traded companies for a broad selection of industry sectors. To wrap up, Index numbers measure the relative difference between a base value and a selected value. There are many formulas for calculating index numbers. The correct formula depends on the analyst objectives and the nature of the data. Except where otherwise noted, clear-sighted statistics is licensed under a Creative Commons license. You are free to share derivatives of this work for non-commercial purposes only. Please attribute this work to Edward Volchak. You can access clear-sighted statistics for free along with its Excel and PowerPoint files on the CUNY Commons. The URL is https forward slash forward slash cuny dot manifold app dot org forward slash projects forward slash clear dash cited dash statistics.